Howdy gang and welcome to your seventh REST API tutorial and in this video I want to talk about post requests and body parser. Alright then, so now we're in a position where we've created our four basic route handlers, one for get requests, one for post, one for port and one for delete requests. In this video I want to focus on the post request. So someone is going to be making a post request when they want to add data okay they want to send new data to the server to add it to the database in our example they're going to be sending that data to forward slash api forward slash ninjas and uh, hopefully they're going to be sending that data in json format and that json object is going to represent a new ninja they want to add to the database but how do they attach this data to this post request well they attach it to what's known as the request body so say for example you're using jquery to send a post request in this AJAX method provided by jQuery, we'd specify the method of the request, which is post, the endpoint, which is forward slash API forward slash ninjas, and then the data, which we want to attach to the body. So jQuery is going to take this and say, okay, I'm making a post request to this URL, and the data I'm attaching to the body is this object right here with a name property and a rank property. So that's how we typically make a post request and send some data using jQuery. But I want to be able to visualize this a little bit more. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Postman. So in Postman, we're going to simulate a post request and send some data in the body of the request. So first of all, we want to make sure that this is set to post. We're going to the correct route, which is forward slash for, uh, API forward slash ninjas. Then down here, if we click on body, we can add in some data in the body which we want to send to the server. We want to click this raw so we can send some raw JSON data. Also click this drop down to say we want to send JSON data. So I've already copied some JSON from this thing right here. I'm just going to copy this and paste it into here. So now we're sending this JSON object to the server. And if we click send, it's going to send that along. And yeah, we're not really getting anything back to say that it's successfully received that data. All we're getting back is this response right here to say the type of request we've made is a post request. But we have sent that data now to the server in the body of the request. OK, so at the minute in this post handler right here, all we're doing is saying, OK, send this response, which is this object, which we saw in Postman. But we want to, for example, send back the data which we received, or we want to take that data and we want to store it in the database. How do we access this data in the body within this handler right here? Well, unfortunately, Node.js and Express don't give us that kind of functionality out of the box, but we can install body parser to do that for us. And body parser is what's known as middleware. So before we install that, I just want to talk a little bit about what middleware is, first of all. Okay, so this is the current setup. We have our Express app over here on the right. We have our request coming in. It hits the Express app. The Express app looks at the type of request, hands it off to the correct route handler, and that does something with the request, and then it sends a response out, okay? So this code right here is fired between the request coming in and the response going out. So any code which is fired between these two points is known as middleware okay so in essence these route handlers right here these are middleware they're just code which is executed between these two points between the request coming in and the response going out and we use this middleware by saying app.use then the middleware we want to use okay so if we added more middleware to this kind of cycle we just say app.use then whatever middleware so the request would come in hit this middleware this would fire some code then it would move on this fires some code, moves on, this fires some code, and then sends back the response. So we've used three different middlewares here. So what if we want to use the body parser? Well, we'd use it at the top right here. We'd say app.use, then the body parser. So when the request comes in, the body parser is going to basically look at the body of the request. It's going to take it, it's going to pass it, and attach it to the request object. And remember, in these route handlers, we get access to that request object. So by the time that request object gets to the route handler, we have access to that data from the body because this thing has attached it to the request object for us. OK, so we can say request.body and it gives us that data. And order here is very important because if this was after here, if we used it, 
after this in the code, then we're not going to have that data available to us. It's going to hit this route handler and the body parser has not done its magic yet. We're not going to have access to that body data. So this needs to go first in the cycle. So what we're going to do now is install body parser. So make sure you're in the correct directory, then say npm install body hyphen parser, and then we're going to save it to our dependencies. Cool. So once that's installed, we can now use it in our application. Now, the first thing we want to do is go to index.js and then require it at the top up here. So I'm going to say const body parser and set that equal to require and then it's body hyphen parser. So now we can use that in this file. So I said that order was important, so it needs to go above this middleware right here, which is for our routes, because we need access by this point. So I'm going to say up here, app.use, and then we're going to use this thing right here, the body parser, which we just required. Now body parser can pass different types of body for us. We want to accept JSON data, so we're going to say dot JSON. Then that's going to pass that JSON data for us, attach it to the request object so that by the time we reach the route handler, it's going to have access to it. Cool. So that's all there is to it right here. Now, when we go to our routes, we can say in this post handler right here, request.body to access whatever was sent to us. So let's log this to the console. I'm going to say console.log, then open up my parentheses and close them off right here and save that now. So now when we make a request, hopefully it's going to log the request body to the console right here. OK, so let's say node mon index just to fire this up, come to postman and we're going to send this request again. So I'll click send. Then if we go to the console, you can see now we get this logged to the console. Pretty cool. So let's also try one more thing. Let's try sending this object back to the client right here so we can see in the response. So how do we do that? Well, all we need to do is edit this object that we're sending back. So we'll keep this post property on right here so we know what type of request we're making. Then down here, I'm going to send back the name and that was request.body and then it was the name property right here. You can see name and rank were the two properties we sent. So we can say dot name to access just the name property. I'm going to also send back the rank, which was request.body.rank. Save that. And now if we make a request again, we get those back in the response. Pretty cool, right? So now we have successfully accessed the body of the post request inside this route handler. So now what we can do is take that body and we can send it to the database. But first of all, what we need to do is actually connect to MongoDB in this application. So we're going to address that in the very next tutorial.